Okay, so... I had mentioned that I might be interested in doing a retro FPS game, and I got some pretty good uh, feedback on it through Twitter, so I decided I'd go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, this obviously is made by id. It was one of their first games after, like, Commander Keen and whatnot. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, you got, like, basic controls. As you can see what I'm using here, I will be using the mouse to, uh, to shoot and to run. Uh, just because the, uh, I have, like, shift and control as alternate buttons on my mouse, so I'll use that. That's just a little easier. Uh, but I won't be strafing, because if I remember correctly, the first time this game came out, it didn't have strafing. Or if it did, very few people used it. Uh, it wasn't a very common thing back then, so let's give it a shot. Oh, wait, hold on. These are all the different episodes. So, of course, we're going to start at episode one. And I'm going to play the, uh, the second hardest difficulty. I've tried Death Incarnate before, and <laughs> I am just not that good. So let's just do this. Okay. Oops. My mouse is not working. Hold on. Control. I think it's working now. Uh, no, I don't want to quit. Oh, no, duh, my mouse is not working. It's for run. Duh. Never mind. So, audio balance is going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I'm going to do my best. So if you don't know the story of the game, you are a captured uh, U.S. World War II Marine, I guess. I don't know if it's established if you were a Marine or an Army or soldier or whatnot, but you were captured by the Nazis, and your job is to escape. So you start off by, like, killing a guard that enters your room and taking his gun. And that's where we started a couple of seconds ago. Nothing in there, I don't think. Let's go check. I'm gonna try to strafe here. Dog food. And nothing, okay. So yeah, strafing's a little difficult, because you have to hold alt and then push left and right. So it's... Okay. Uh, nothing. So I've played this a couple of times when I was younger, but... Uh, never actually beat the whole game. I know I've beaten the first um, set of levels, and I think I've beaten the second set, uh, but I don't recall. Alright, machine gun! Sweet! Come on. Now open the door. Okay. Oops. some of these treasures. There we go. But yeah, some of these levels I'll know exactly where the hidden things are and where enemies are, but I promise you there will come a time very quickly that I have no idea what I'm doing. It's just been too long. There's another secret right here. Normally, treasures aren't required, except for the fact that uh, when you earn a certain number of points, you get a 1-up, and those will definitely come in handy later. Aha! Take that! There's another one over here, in there. Yep. Oh, there's a treasure. stayed. So if you get hurt, you can eat dog food or meals or get a first aid kit. It's 
pretty self-explanatory. There's a hidden entrance right there. That's the exit, by the way. Takes you to the next floor. That was a first aid kit. Another hidden exit right there. And another one right there. First, uh, one up, actually. And this is a hidden exit, which takes you to level 10? I want to say every mission has nine levels. So what I'm going to do, because this technically is quote-unquote level 10, I'm going to go ahead and save here. Uh, level 10 entrance. And we'll worry about that later. Oops, there we go. I forgot my controls! Alright, so that's the end of the first level. I'm going to try to keep these videos of this particular series to one level per video. Um, so that should keep this one relatively short. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you like it, and um, we'll go from there. Perfect! Alright, thanks for watching.